How do you guys? It's Luke at Luke's Affordable Paint Service coming at you with a video on making your own washers. Now this is going to show you how to make good washers for models as well as terrain. I know I've touched on this in the past using uh, Rinse Aid, but the problem we were using Rinse Aid is some people are getting different results. Um, now I don't know whether it's down to the Rinse Aid that they're using or different paints, but it's not becoming, it's not a, happening the same for everyone. Now about three or four months after making that video. I started doing it differently anyway, and people have seen it in uh, like the dead zone video and stuff like that before. Um, but I thought I'd show you that way again, and I thought I'd show you it against using matte mediums like artist stuff, and just show you how much cheaper it is to make your own washers and get them almost the same as like Agrax first shade and Null Oil. Okay, but this is using better products than just rinse aid and chucking some paint in it. Okay. It's a bit more expensive, but you can make a hell of a lot for the money, okay? So, I'll get the camera down, we'll crack on straight away, I don't want to bore you to death with all the ins and outs, but you'll see how good they are, and it'll probably cost you about £10 for all the products, but you can make a lot of wash, you could make probably about a litre of wash for this, okay? So, I'll get the camera down, we'll crack on, see you in a bit. Right guys, so, I've got four shot glasses set up here, the ones that have got like, little markings on like that this is going to be the cheaper way of doing it okay now the products you're going to need this is for the cheaper way so pledge floor polish pledge floor polish even though it says polish it's acrylic gloss medium okay so what a medium is it's what keeps it's paint without pigment okay it is watered down in this slightly um, so you don't have to do any watering down or messing around with this stuff, okay? This is just pour it in, add some ink, done, okay? Now, if you want to make uh, the medium wash yourself using professional stuff, this is Winsor & Newton's matte medium. The only difference is that's going to be like a, a glossy finish, whereas this is going to be completely matte, but you can always matte varnish after anyway, okay? So that's the matte medium. Now, we're going to do a black one and a brown one, to copy Null Noil and Agrax Earth Shade. Okay, so what we do is you get for your matte medium, we'll add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops. Same again on that one. Just fill the bottom of the shot glass, really. Okay, now I'm going to use deionized water. The reason I use deionized water is because I can't get hold of um, distilled water easily. Um, you can use bottled water which is okay. Uh, water out your tap's fine if it's something you're going to use and throw away after a couple of weeks. But the problem is with proper water out your tap is it can go a bit stale and stagnant. So use something like this. This is for using in irons and batteries and a, a bottle like this is about 50p. Okay. Now we water this down. So you put about not that much in. What you're looking for is making this to the consistency of a, th a transparent milk. Okay. So you've got like a quite a clear milky consistency. Now, just before we start adding any inks and anything to that, what you need to do is add some flow aid. All this is is deionized water with a couple of drops of fairy liquid in it. Okay. We're just adding a couple in there, a couple in there, okay? Now, give them a mix up, because I've got a dirty brush, it's come off in this one, but we're just going to add uh, the black one to that one. I want to make this one the brown. Get a good mix, and as you can see, it's quite transparent. Now, what that is, is that paint without pigment, so you've made your wash medium, okay? Now, we'll add literally two drops of black. Okay, and these are black inks, black artist inks, cheapest I could find on eBay, a couple of quid for a bottle. Okay, and then we'll do a couple of drops of brown, uh, and this brown is raw umber. It's closest I can find to Agrax Earth Shade. And two drops of that. We might have to add another drop or so of brown because it doesn't go as far. Um, We'll just give that a mix, and as you can see, look, it's acting quite well and copying as it should. All right, 
just wash my brush off. And then mix the brown in. The problem is with uh, making them yourself, you do get like a creaminess to the finish, but they do dry clear. Um, but with brown, as I say, it doesn't go as far, so two drops isn't as good. Um, so we'll go up to six drops. Another two. And that should be it for the brown. Oh, another two more, and then we're done. Okay. Yep, that'll do for that. So as you, so now what we've got there, we've got null oil and we've got an Agrax Earth shade, all done with the matte medium. Now what I'll do is I'll just put these to one side. Uh, and then we'll crack on with the next one. Right guys, so when you're using your pledge floor polish for making it cheaper, all you do is you pour this stuff out on its own, okay? You don't have to do any mixing or anything. Only thing to try and do is get it so it's uh, it's roughly the same amount, so we get the amounts the same, okay? So, pour that out. Don't need to add anything to this um, for the black. Two drops, and for the brown, it was about ten. Okay, I'll we'll give these a mix and make sure they're working right. Yep, and as you can see, they're working more or less identical already. The brown needs a little bit more. There we go. So what I'll do now, guys, is we'll paint two models using brown and black from the matte medium. And then we'll paint two models with the brown and the black from the pledge, so you can see the difference. Uh, and what I'll do as well is I'll, I'll paint another two, um, and I'll use Agrax Earth Shade and Null Nile, and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so we'll get these done, and uh, I'll see you in a sec. Right, so this is just the matte medium going on, okay, so I just thought I'd show you it getting brushed on. So this is using the Winsor & Newton uh, matte medium for brushing it on with the ink and as you can see you're getting a lovely wash it's finding all them recesses brilliantly like that. and just take off all the big pulling areas and what I like about this is you don't get too much stainage either it doesn't change your colours that much um, so yeah so that's that one anyway uh, and then we'll do the black on this one. So this is using the floor polish, so you can see the difference. And then what I'll do is I'll just uh, do the brown one. Like that. And then we'll do the same with this one. And the best thing about doing your washes like this is that you can control how dark or, you know, transparent you actually want them. Because what you can do is you can add a couple more drops of ink or not add as many. So you can have like, you can make your own glazes like this as well. So all you've got to do is start getting yourself some nice uh, artist inks, um, colours. And you can make yourself some really nice washes and glazes for a tenth of the price okay it's just an, the initial outlay that's a bit more expensive uh, but if you get black and brown which are your main use you know your main washers that you use regular and just buy one every time you need one you see okay so we'll let these dry and while they're drying what i'll do is i'll uh, i'll i'll paint two with agrax earth shade and two, null oil and then we'll compare
Right guys, so you saw me banging that on. Now, first off is the black wash. Now that's with the uh, the matte medium, okay? And that's with the pledge. As you can see, the ball finished very, very similar. Okay, I'm trying to get that in shot. <laughs> As you can see, it's very, very similar. Um, the only thing is, is that's got quite a shimmer. Because obviously, like I say, it's a gloss medium, not a matte finish. But they're very similar. Now, to null, this one's the null nile one. Uh, if you can see that the difference with the null nile is it's actually shaded all the model to a darker grey. Now, the way to achieve that with this stuff is just literally add more black ink just to strengthen it up. So all we'd have to do is add another couple of drops of black ink and we'd get it similar. But I like paler washers, okay? Um, now, with the browns, as you can see, the browns have come out lovely. Uh, compare that to the... Um, the Agrax Earth shade, as you can see, this one's slightly darker. Um, but, again, good results. Okay. Right, so, that's how you make your own washers, and we'll uh, finish the video. Right, guys, so you saw how easy that was. Um, and as you can see, the finishes are very, very similar, and all you'd have to do is tweak it if you wanted it the same as Null Oil, or if you use any other sort of wash that you like. If you just want to replicate that, all you've got to do is keep just tweaking the drops of ink uh, and the matte medium, uh, or the the pledge, till you get the finish that you want, okay? So, I'll just show you another quick close-up and I'll take a picture at the end. So that's the matte medium, uh, the professional stuff, okay? As you can see, it's a nice finish, do you know what I mean? It's not, it's a nice wash, okay? It's nice and polite. But like I said, there's only like one, maybe two drops of black ink in that. I can't remember how many we did. Um, that's the Pledge Floor Wax. Um, this is the brown from the matte medium. This is the brown from the Pledge. And then obviously you've got your, your comparison of Null Noil and that medium. So if you just wanted to strengthen that up, just to put a couple more drops of black ink in and you get it very similar. Okay guys? So I hope you like what I'm doing. Uh, if you do, like, share, subscribe. Share this with all your friends uh, and you know, just get it out there. If you want to hang out, ask any questions. There's always Luke's Hangouts, AP, uh, Luke's Hangouts and Discussions on Facebook, which is a group where we all can share tips and anything else. Um, and as you all know, or some of you do know, there's a massive um, giveaway coming up shortly, um, which just keep your ears peeled, and as soon as that goes live, I'm sure you'll all hear about it. All right, guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again for the next video.